Hey guys, my name is Jennifer and I am Genevieve Designs. Today we are going to continue on making the Santa Baby Christmas album using the new Glassine Bag printable mini album templates that I just released a week or so ago. Um, and so far we've already got the covers done, uh, front and back covers done, and we've inserted all the pages and we have some of the inserts. Um, I did two uh, on camera and then I did the other two off. So we did some of the large pocket side pocket inserts, which I just adore the side pocket, no, tag pocket insert. <laughs> I just think it's super cute. Okay, and as usual, the links to this playlist, this video, specific video playlist would be down below. It'll be the first video will be the intro video to the templates, and then the next will be the covers, so on and so forth. So they'll be in order if you are interested in making this from start to finish. Also, the templates will be linked down below, and then any and all things that I mention or use should be linked down below. So just open that show more section. It's the description box. Just open that up and all kinds of information um, pops up for you to see. Okay, so the paper collection that I'm using for this mini album is the Prima Santa Baby. Um, it came out in July. So I think what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go, we're just gonna start going page by page and doing some tags and embellishments and then we'll just work for a little while and if the video gets too long we'll just uh, resume the next day but this is such a fast quick easy mini album you guys once you get the hang of it once you get the pages in I mean it's just everything just goes so fast so let's just do that let's just start by making some tags and some, you know, decorating some of the spaces that are in here without, you know, going overboard. So what I think we'll do, we'll just start over here and we'll make some, some tags. And then, well, some inserts and tags. So what we're going to need is this page. Let's see, what is it, this page? I'm pretty sure. Page number 15 which we actually already have some printed out from uh, some of the inserts for the envelopes, or actually inserts for the, um, not the envelopes, the tag pocket insert. We're gonna be using this insert right here, but I'm also thinking we're gonna be tracing some. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab this one. Um, I'm, I'm thinking. Yeah, because this is insert number two. Insert number, we're going to use insert number one, two a couple times, but we're going to be using this, and I think we're going to use, since we've got two of these, I think we're going to use these as well. And then we're also going to be using these two tags here, which I'm going to grab that one too. So this is tag insert three. So I'm just going to grab both of those. Okay, so in my original which is this one here. This is the one, the prototype, that I made for the Made Con um, in September. I used the shipping tags, which, and if you actually got a kit from that class, then um, you'll have these shipping tags included. But the shipping tag is the same as insert number three that's on page 15. So you can just use this if you wanted to. If you wanted to get that same look of, of a shipping tag, you could, I grabbed a piece here. You can just get a piece of cream colored cardstock, trace it out, and it looks almost the same. Let me show you. It's super close. I mean, the shipping tags are just a little bit darker and they have that, um, they have this, what is that called? Whole reinforcement thingy. <laughs> it's more of a reddish tone, um, and they have that on there, and they already have a string. So if you don't have the shipping tags, then you can just make your own. But I'm gonna, I might, I might do a combination of both because I have the shipping tags and I also want to trace some, so we'll see. Okay, so let's the first thing I want to do is I want to um, get some of the journaling cards. So there was a whole set of, I don't have the package, but this is the 4x6 journaling cards for, um, oops, did I grab the wrong thing? 4x6 journaling cards that were part of the collection. So it's like a whole pad 
So we're going to be using some of these for the tags as well, which makes it super convenient. Um, we're actually going to be using that. And then while I got stuff, while I'm getting stuff out, I'm going to go ahead and grab some other things like the ephemera pieces. I don't think I used many of the acetate ones, but I know I used a lot of these die cut cardstock pieces. So I'm just going to go ahead and take those out. And I'm going to grab my stickers and I'm going to grab my washi tape and some baker's twine even though that's probably not going to be enough. So I'm just going to have everything close by and then I've got my flowers up here. I still don't have my um, box cleaned out so that I can just have it all in there. So I'm just kind of going with the flow here. So I might move those out of the way for now. I have my hoe reinforcements. I have cut out these are the instat uh, photo, like the faux instat. Let me show you. In the template, it is page. It's page 22. So you just need four of these, and I also I'm going to need, I'm going to need the uh, traceable inside part. So you just need four of these for this album. So I'm going to grab that. I've already cut those four out. Um, and then these are the Satan Crystals. I'm going to grab those. I think that might be it for now. Oh, and my shipping tags. Whoops. I'm going to grab these. i got a pile of shipping tags. And also have a pile of the journaling cards sitting over to the side. So I'm just going to have everything close by so that I can grab and we can just create. Um, we can just go with the flow and create. Does that make sense? <laughs> okay. So I'm going to sit these pieces over here. So the first tag we're going to make is this one, and it's going to go in this pocket right here. I don't have one planned for this back pocket here, but we'll get to that after we do everything else. So I want to start with these two pockets here. So I want to make a tag for here and a couple tags for here. So I'm going to start with this journaling card. It says, the most wonderful time, oh, wait a minute, what's that say? The most wonderful time of the year, which is cute. So I'm going to take, oh, you know what I need to do first. Before I trace, I need to mark for my whole reinforcement. I can't decide. So I'm going to go ahead and, I'm going to go ahead and mark it. Grab a pencil, mark the center just a little bit. I didn't, I didn't leave, <clears throat> I didn't add the whole reinforcements to the printable template so that you could do it or not do it. It would be totally up to you. You wouldn't have to work around it if you didn't want it. So I'm just going to mark the center and I'm going to grab my, one of my whole reinforcements here and put that down before I punch the hole. You didn't have to use one of the green ones. You can just use a regular one if you want to, but that sure does make it pretty. All right, so now I'm going to lay this this away because this is going to be coming out of the left side. So I'm just going to lay this on here. It looks like it's a little bit bigger than the 4x6 card, but that's okay. I don't mind that. Um... I'm just going to center it on here as best I can. You could use, if you wanted to, instead of using the 4x6 uh, cards, you could use, you know, a full sheet um, and trace it out of the full sheet. That will work as well. So, all I'm going to do now is I'm just going to try. Oh, look what I did. I wasn't paying attention. I'm not going to, let's see, I'm going to race. I'm going to race. That's what I'm going to do right now. <laughs> I need to go from the other end, I think. Shoot. All right, start over here. See, I'm just, I'm a, again, I'm a little discombobulated. Because this has words on it, 
I'm going to try and get all the wording. So I just need to shift it. So I'm just going to trace it out like this. There we go. Now I've got most of the wording. Just cutting off just a little bit of the, just a little bit, not too bad. I can deal with that. So I'm going to put one of the, do I want to do brown? Let's do brown. You can do whatever color you want. I'm just going to use this brown color that I use the walnut stain, Distress Oxide Walnut Stain to color. And then I'm going to do brown on the back side. Okay, so I am going to take my Walnut Stain Distress Oxide by Ranger and I'm going to ink the edges front and back. Okay, before I do, uh, before I put string and stuff in there, I'm just going to go ahead and make the tags. So that one's going to be going in there and then we're going to be using one of the shipping tags or, or you can use tag insert number three again it's the same same size as the shipping tag so if you wanted to make your own little shipping tags then grab this uh, traceable template here but since I have shipping tags I'm gonna go ahead and use it but I'm gonna take the string off because matter of fact you can cut that string in half and use it on two tags because it is a lot of string for one little tag and I think what I'm going to do for this one, and I was grabbing some of my scraps. So this one, I don't remember what this one was from. This is from something. I don't know if it was from, it's from this. It's from this envelope here. So I'm just going to grab some scraps that I have sitting over here. And I'm just going to take it and I'm going to, first I'm going to cut this piece off. And I'm going to tear the bottom. like that. I'm going to take my ink. I'm just going to ink that torn edge there. And then I'm going to take, this is just art glitter glue. Art glitter glue. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put some glue on the tag itself like this. And I'm not going to go too far down because this isn't a very big piece. So I'm just going to lay this on here like that. I guess I could screw it up just a little. Right, and then I'm going to trim the excess off. Put that aside. You never know when you might need that. So then I got something that looks like that. I'm going to go ahead and poke the hole back. And then before, let's see, before we do anything else, I think you're going to take this coffee mug here. Isn't that cute? And we're going to like tie that onto there. But I do need to get a hole poked there and I think what I'm going to do I'm going to take my craft knife and you can see where it's got like a little handle there I'm going to try to poke through that so that we can run some string through there so I'm just going to take my craft knife So I can get some string through that. No big deal. Okay, so I think first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to ink. Whoa. I'm going to ink 
this up. I uh, better go ahead and ink these edges up too. So that's going to go there. So I'm just going to take one of those pieces that I cut in half there, no biggie. And I'm going to string it through. And I'll try to anyway. Right, and so that's going to be that tag. Just that simple. I'm going to put a little dab of glue on here just so it doesn't shift too bad. Right, and so that's going to go there like that. Right, easy. And then I'm thinking that the other piece I need to stick in here is a journaling card. Let me double check. Yes, it is. So this is a piece where we use this piece we used on the back cover and this piece we used on the front cover. We're going to be using this bottom piece as a journaling card, which is why I've got it tagged. But we're also going to be using this piece as a journaling card. So it says, Be Jolly. So I'm just gonna, I, don't, I didn't purchase the uh, three by four journaling cards. So if you have those, those would probably work too. But I just figured since we're cutting into this paper, we might as well uh, use the stuff that's uh, in here. So I didn't even cut it very well. That's okay. And you know what? I might even just round these corners just a little bit. I don't know why. And I'm going to ink it up. Front and back. Right, and then that goes in there. So there's three inserts for that spot right there. And then I want to put a little decoration here. So out of the ephemera pieces, um... I'm gonna put this little Santa, little Santa, <laughs> this little Santa guy here. All right, so I think all I'm gonna do is just ink him up a little bit. Right, and then I think I'm gonna stick him right here. He's so cute. <laughs> I'm going to use the uh, fiber tag by Beacon for this because I am going to be gluing down to that seam binding. So I'm going to grab this one. Okay, so I'm just going to stick him right here. Like that. I really, I kind of want this bow. Maybe I can stick his arm through the bow. I kind of like the way that bow looks. Where it kind of looks like maybe he's, you know, holding on to that. <laughs> That's cute. I like it. Okay, so then let's move on over to here. Oh, no, wait. I forgot. Let's do... Um, Baker's twine for this little tag here. You don't need much. I'm gonna have to get me some more, I think, because I don't have enough. Let's try that again. But you can get like a whole big thing of pink and white Baker's twine for pretty cheap. Well, pretty cheap, ten bucks. Maybe, but you'll never run out. So I'm going to add that over here. I've got that linked in my Amazon list as well. And then over here, we're going to use one of the Instat, um, 
embellishments. We're going to stick that right here. I'm going to go ahead and glue that down, actually. And obviously, I have all of this already. Most of, you know, 90% of this is planned out already, which is why um, uh, how I can, you know, just kind of keep going, go with the flow. So I'm just going to um, attach that down there. And then I'm going to grab, I have the washi tape. This is the washi tape that was part of the collection. So I'm going to grab a little bit of this little heart looking washi. And I'm going to stick that on top. That's where it looks like I've taped it down with the washi. And then I'm going to grab this pink and white stripe that I'm going to use on the bottom here. And to hold that down like that. And then as an extra little detail, I'm going to try to find the end of this. It's like a little macaroon. Is this it right? No, that's teeny tiny little macaroon print so I'm gonna add a little bit of this just for a little bit more detail oops I got too much kind of like this And I'm going to stick this little piece that I just, the little extra that I had, I'm going to stick that back onto this really heavy acetate tag that we made. Um, I also want to trace out some of the pattern paper from there, or from the scraps to put there. So I think I'm going to grab, oh, that's almost the right size. How much, how much are we off? Just a smidgy smidge. Um, I'm, I am. I'm going to go ahead and try to use the skinnier part up here like this. So I'm just going to lay that down. Even though it's a little smaller than my template, my traceable template, I'm just going to lay that down there. Let's see if it even matters. All right, and cut that. You could also use this as a place to put your pictures. So you use this traceable template, lay it down on your photographs, and you can cut out specific areas, and that would be your instep photo. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and glue that down right there. It's a little bit off, but I'm okay with it. Glue that down, and then I'm going to grab my flowers. I don't remember which flowers I want to use. Maybe this one right here. I like that flower. And I also want to get out my Say It in Crystals. Same thing. I'm going to tack them down to the packaging really quick just so I don't have to keep taking them out of the package. So I'm going to stick that there. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace this guy here with a Say It in Crystal. I'm going to try to anyway. I might have to cut him off. Let's see. But I'm going to use that as a, another embellishment as well. So you don't want it to go too far. Okay. So I got that. And I think what I'll do is I'm going to use one of these pink Say It in Crystals. I'm going to put a little dab of glue here. And I'm going to use one of the medium size crystals. Even though there's some sticky on the back there. Um... I don't trust it to hold, so I'm just going to use that and replace the center with the pink Say It in Crystal, so it looks like that. Isn't it cute? Whoops. There we go. And I think he's going to go right here. 
he or she, whatever you want to call it. And then I'm going to put, let's go ahead and glue it down. Why not? Since I already know what I'm doing, let's just go ahead and just keep going. Go with the flow. Then I'm going to put another little say it in crystal here and then maybe replace that um, piece that I just cut off the center. Maybe put that here as well. Oh, that's sticking up quite a bit. Okay, I think I just want one of the little small white ones. My fingernails kind of get in the way for this kind of stuff sometimes. So I'm just going to stick that there. Look at that. It's so cute. Then I'm going to grab a sticker. This is also from the collection. These are, um, there's 44 snowflake stickers on here. And they're such a pretty color, I think. Like this, oh, oops, I missed that one up a little bit. Like this gold color, it's like a champagne color. So I'm gonna lay this up here, like it's coming off of there. Look at that. So see how quick and easy we did that? Fantastic. All right, so let me move these again. And then let's think about the tags that are going in here. So I'm gonna need another journaling card. So this is the Mary and Joy journaling card. On the back, they're all pink and white polka dots. So again, I'm gonna take my traceable template and this one's gonna be coming this way. So I just wanna make sure that I get everything that I want on there, all of the verbiage. And again, my four by six card's a little bit smaller than my traceable template, but that's okay. That teeny smidge, like it's like a 1 16th of something, isn't going to hurt anything. So I'm going to cut this out. It's just the 4 by 6 journaling cards just make it easier um, and faster, you know. Alright. So, I'm going to put a whole, green hole reinforcement this time. Okay, and then on the back, I'm going to do brown. Whoops, wrong place. Like that. And so that one will be here, like that. I'll ink it in just a minute. And then we're going to do another shipping tag. Or do I want to use one of those ones we already, let's see, let me find, what do we got going on here? Oh, that's awful cute the way it is. Okay. Then we're going to do, that's not the piece I was looking for. Okay, we have some large um, cut off pieces from where we cut uh, 12 by 12 down to 8.5 by 11 to fit through our printer. So I grabbed those two because we're going to use those on these tags as well. So I think for this one, I think we're going to put this down here like this. And then we're going to cover this edge with the other part of it. So let's do that. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to guess here. Oops. You know what I need to do? I need to take that, that um, string out. Like that. So I'm just going to take this and lay that down. Again, you could trace it out if you want it to. Whatever floats your boat. So this, this video is just really going to be super laid back. So um, depending on how many it's going to take to finish embellishing this, just know that it's just we're just going to be super laid back about this. And then I think I'm going to use, I might not, what, are, what else, what was I going to use? 
Let me see. No, oh, that's it. So this is just one of the journaling cards from that same piece that we've used on the cover. Um, so this is the three by four journaling card. I must have when I was, you know, it was, it's really nice when you're like at, at this point and you can just go through and just start adding and creating and making things look pretty. You can just go with the flow, not really care about, um, anything, you know, turn some music on and just chill. So that's basically what happened when I went through and finished up this album, which it was great. It was really nice just to be able to do that, just to be able to be laid back and do that. So I think you guys should do the same. You don't have to follow exactly what I'm doing, but just grab all your extra pieces, all your leftover stuff. Um, but the only thing is though, when I did the, the other album, I went and did all the large tags first, and then I came back and used scraps and things for this type of thing. So you might wanna do that. Um, instead of just follow me, but since I'm following what I did before, uh, I'm okay. But you, you can do that too if you'd like. You can just follow me and do what I'm doing, and that's totally fine. So I'm just going to trim the excess off once again. Of course, if you traced out your tag, you could trace out the whole tag onto that um, striped paper. That would be fine, too. Instead of, like, what do, what do we call this? Matting? It's kind of like a matting of sorts. But it's super fast. All right, let me go ahead and pop this hole here. Look at that, and then I'm going to use a green hole reinforcement for this one. And so then that will go there. All right, so let me go ahead and ink both of these pieces up. Okay, so I went ahead and put the pink and white Baker's Trine on the large tag there. And then here um, I used the other half of the um, string that came off of the... What is this called? Came off of the uh, shipping tag. But I wanted to tell you, if you didn't have already have your shipping tags and you were making your own tags, um, oh, where did it go? And you didn't have the string, you can get, this is just plain natural baker's twine. You can get this and use this instead. Or you can use crochet thread. This is really thin. Whoops. There's a needle in there. This is really thin crochet thread, but you could get thicker kind and use that as well. But I did want to point that out. Um, that you can use this type of Baker's twine, just a natural. Okay, so next step, let's, we're gonna do a little decoration here. Let me flip my page so I can keep us, keep us on task. We're gonna be using one of the die cuts. And it looks like, uh -oh. there it is. We're going to be using this die cut. It's like three little, or I'm sorry, four little banners. And then we're also going to be using, um, where's the, here, this tag here that says, Be Jolly. Can you see that? It says, Be Jolly. All right, we're going to poke that. So these were all part of the ephemera. We're going to be using both of those. Scoot that back out of the way. Real simple. I'm just going to ink this up. I'm going to ink this up on both sides. If you wanted to, you could totally um, back that. Okay, and then I'm going to ink this flag up just a little bit. This flag, this little banner thing. Okay, so now I'm just going to take this and I'm going to put some glue on this bow area and that bow area. And I'm just going to kind of slant it over here in this corner like that, right? And then this tag 
will go in there like that. So I'm gonna, I am gonna go ahead, I think I'll use some of this natural baker's twine. I am gonna put a little bit of a pull on there so that you know that it's supposed to be removable. I could have put a whole reinforcement on there too, but we're just gonna leave it like that. Okay. So then that goes there, and it, that's it. Looks just like that, simple, easy. Okay, so moving on to this page back here. Yeah, okay. I'm trying to see what's got me. Oh. <laughs> All right, so moving on to back here, we are gonna be using another journaling card. Uh, I, I, you all should see my space. It has definitely been a bit of a whirlwind around here lately. Okay, so this is the journaling card we're gonna be using back here. Uh, that's when I took it out of the pad some of the glue got stuck to the top of my my paper here my, my journaling card and we're literally just going to ink this up washi tape the top of it and it's gonna be a flip up so you could put a picture here put a picture here put a picture here you could journal here journal here what have you so it gives you more space um, to put cool things so I'm gonna ink this up front and back really quick isn't the Santa in this collection just so cute? I just love the vintage flowers and the vintage looking Santa combination. It's just so furby. And it's not just like poinsettias. It's actually, you know, like roses and stuff. I just think it's so pretty. Good combination, in my opinion. All right, so where's my washi? Where did I do with my washi? It's over here. I'm going to take a little bit of washi and I'm going to put it on one side. I'm going to bring the book closer to me. I'm going to put it at a, a slant and I'm just going to tape that down right there. And you may want to give it a really good burnish. And I may, in fact, I'm gonna do that right now. So I'm gonna flip this up like that. And then I'm gonna just add just a teeniest bit of glue right there at that seam where the washi um, makes contact to the page itself um, and the journaling card. See, I'm just having a hard time with words today. Okay, so now I'm going to get another piece of washi tape, and I'm going to go on this side. Try to go right in the same area there. Oops. And do the same thing. Place that down, and I'm going to give it a good burnish. So then I'm going to flip that back and burnish again. And now we have a cute little flip up spot, which I think is adorable. Okay, next page. Again, we're gonna start with one of the instat photos. And I think I'm gonna put it right here and go in the opposite direction. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue this down. If you wanted to, you could leave this open, like just have it glued down top and bottom and it could be like a little place to tuck. But I'm not going to. So the first thing I'm gonna do is glue this. A little bit too much of an angle. Then I'm gonna take some of the washi. I'm gonna get a piece like that. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually tear this in half. So one piece on top, piece on the bottom, just like that. And then I'm going to take one of the flowers that looks and just literally just go ahead and I'm going to glue that down. We're going to keep this one just a little bit simpler, I think. 
I say that. We're not going to put anything here, but as long as you keep your glue on one side, you can totally, at some point, take this, trace your picture out, and then you can slide that in under there and attach down, and nobody be the wiser. Okay, so then I grabbed this little thing here, the Perfect Christmas from the Ephemera Pack, and I'm going to ink this up really quick. I first tell you guys, I inked all those edges uh, already prior to on the instat photos. I just took the white off the edge. So I think for this one, we're going to do the, we're going to go ahead and do the two ends. We're going to tack those down. We're going to go across the bottom like this, I think. Like that. That way, if you wanted to stick something under there, you totally could. Then we're going to take the Say It in Crystals, and we're going to put a dot of glue on each end of that, and we're going to go and get two teeny of these green ones, and we're going to put those down on the ends to where it looks like that's what's holding it down, is those teeny tiny little Say It in Crystals. I'll try to hold it up to the camera in just a second. I guess I should have done that with the other page. Did I hold it up to the camera on the other page? Well, hang on just a minute. I'll do it. Let's get this part done, and then I'll bring it closer to you. Okay. And I also want to add two of these little snowflake stickers. And we're going to be gentle pulling them off. I don't know why, but I wanted to do two on here. I just think they're so cute. And they're a pretty color, too. Wait a minute. I think I didn't... I just now realized there's two different sizes of these snowflakes. Okay. All right. So I'm going to put one up here. The smaller ones going up there. And then I'm going to grab one of these larger ones. I did not even realize, just then I did, that there were two sizes. Okay, so now I'm going to take this larger one, I'm going to come over here on this side. That makes more sense. It just, proportions wasn't working all of a sudden. So, here is what we got on that, right? So easy. And then there's the flip up page. No big deal. And then here is that. And there's that one. And then there's that cute little decoration. And that's it. Where are we at? Okay. I didn't even, I don't know if I showed you already um, a close up, but there you have it. All right. So let's do the tags for the pockets. I know one of them is again from this piece here from the covers we are going to take this tag traceable insert here and I want to get this 25 so I'm going to lay this on here like that So Christmas is coming really soon, you guys. I am not even close to being ready. Not even. We went, my husband and I went shopping yesterday um, to a very popular mall around us. And, well, a couple stores. We went to a... Um, what's it called? Bed Bath & Beyond first. It's kind of like a home store. And we grabbed lots of Christmas presents there. And then we went to a popular mall around us. And when we came out, someone had stolen our packages out of our vehicle. That was pretty stinky that was a very I was like what why would why would someone do that <laughs> you just stole somebody's Christmas presents um 
everything they got, every, well, not everything. There was a few things that were things we needed for the house, but very small things, uh, like hangers. I mean, come on. But anyway, um, they stole my son's Christmas presents. Um, there was a Christmas present for my mom. Anyway, it was just very, very annoying. Um, let's see. I was going to try to make this wonderful, the tag. Well, it was more than annoying. It was upsetting. It just really just totally just, I don't know. I just don't understand that, why people do that. So I'm going to take this insert number three, and I'm going to trace that out. So this was, this is actually a shipping tag size. If you want, if you had shipping tags, you could use your shipping tag instead. I'm going to trace that. Oh, you know what I didn't do? I didn't mark the center. Well, of course. Oh, I did pretty good. Um, I need to mark my center. Anyway, it just really, really bummed us out. And then, well, I can't really say anything else. But it's like, I don't know. You just want to ask the people that do stuff like that. Like, why did you do that? Why would you take some, I mean, they were for my kids. Why would you take my kids' Christmas presents? Anyways, so it kind of made me sad. But then, you know, I was talking to my husband. It's like, you know, it's like, worse things could happen, I guess. And things could always be a lot worse. And, you know, we're very fortunate there's a lot of people out there that aren't very fortunate. We're very fortunate. We have each other. We have our kids. You know, we have our families. We have, you know, a home. We got food to eat, clothes on our back, all of that. So, it just, it just made me sad all the same that somebody took my kids' Christmas presents. And then, you know, we were thinking about it, too. We were like, well, what if that was somebody's... What if that was, they saved up all their money and they spent all their money on those Christmas presents and you just stole everything that they worked hard for to buy for their children or for their family for Christmas. It's just, I don't know. It just made me sad. Made me sad. So, anyway. Enough of that. Enough of that. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and use this, I think. What's on the back side? Yep. I'm going to put a green hoe reinforcement on there. I'm going to poke the hole. Okay, I'm going to ink both of these up, and then I'll be right back. Okay, I got both of these inked up on both sides, and then this one I put just the natural baker's twine on there, and this one I put the pink and white. So, those two are done, right there, and then we're going to do a little bit of embellishing right here, and we're going to use, these are from the ephemera pack, uh, there's a little hat that says, Joy, Love, Peace, Believe, Christmas, and then there's these cute little deer, I think they're deer, <laughs> um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of have the hat on top of the two deer, and they're going to go like right there, right? So, I'm going to take my scissors, and I'm going to snip. I'm going to try to get my camera to focus. I think I need to, can you put that, I think you can put cameras in the shop, can't you? That's what I need to do for mine. I need to put it in the shop. I feel like um, my camera is needing some, like a tune-up or something, if that makes any sense. <laughs> I'm going to come down on this side here, too, and I'm just going to go in just a little bit, because what I want to do... I'm going to take this hat here, and I kind of want it to be on their heads, kind of wedged down in there like that. So it looks like that. Can you guys see? Isn't that cute? All right, so I'm going to, before I attach them together, I'm going to ink them both up real quick. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get that ear. Just a little bit. 
Okay. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and I'm going to put glue right there on that other ear so it can attach to the back of the hat there. So there'll be glue there and maybe a little bit there. So we're going to wiggle it on like this. Oh, that is so cute. Oops, let's scooch it over this way. Oh, look it. Okay, and so then we're going to just stick that there. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to attach it at the top and the bottom so that something could be tucked um, behind it a little bit. But isn't that precious? So it looks like that. Isn't that cute? So if you wanted to, there's something. Here's a tag. You can make a tag to stick in there to tuck behind. I just think it's adorable. Right? So that was super simple. Alrighty, let's move on. So let's, I think what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and finish this back page up right here and then end the video and then we'll do the other half of the book in another video. That way the video is not forever long. Okay, so back here we're going to use another journaling card and we're going to use this one. This one um, just says a 25 and we're going to use it as a pocket. So we're going to attach it down on these two sides and the bottom and use it as a top loading pocket. So I'm going to go ahead and ink this up. Just the one side. And I think we're going to just use some washi tape to hold it down. Where's my washi? I'm going to get the pink and white stripe again. I'm going to have to get some more washi out. So if, um, if you actually got one of these kits, you might want to go ahead and buy some just regular pink and white washi because there was not enough. I did not, whoops, I did not add enough to the kit. But that's just kind of part of it, isn't it? Just, you never know, you just have to guess. All right, I'm gonna get another piece of the pink and white washi. And then we'll stick it on this side, like that. Let me show you guys how I did this. When I made these uh, cards, I just lined it up on there like that, onto the acetate. And I just went round, 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 round. Right, so I just kept doing this for each one of the washies and for every class except the art journal class. So I had a ton of students in each class, so it was a lot of washy winding. <laughs> washy winding. Okay, so then in the ephemera, there, oh wait, man, I still need to add some stuff to the washi there. The ephemera, there's a couple little hearts. There might be more than just a couple, but there's one. There's one right there, but then there's another one, I think. There it is. It's shiny. So I'm going to take those two, and I'm going to use the snowflake stickers again. I'm going to use these smaller ones, these little goatish ones. And I'm going to put one over here like that. Whoops. Just for some decoration. And then one on the other side. For some decoration. Alright, so then I'm going to take these here. I think first I'm going to ink them up just a little bit. I'm not, not sure the foil one will show, but I'm going to try. Whoa. I'm going to try. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to start off with is I'm going to use, I'm going to put some uh, art glitter glue just on that bottom of that little heart there, just in the very, very bottom bottom, just in the very tip, and I'm going to stick this down here like that, and I'm going to hold it. And then on this heart, this, this other heart, 
I'm going to put it on the top um, of the heart. And I'm going to stick this like this, I think. Like that. So I'll show you why in just a second. So we're going to make some tags, but they're going to go in the top like this, and those little hearts are going to stop it from falling out. So that's what, that's what those are for. So I'm going to use this tag again, and I'm going to use, what am I going to use? I'm going to find it. But yeah, I'm going to use, I want to use this little guy here. So I'm just going to lay this on here. Um, yep, I'm going to put it right here in the bottom corner, just like that. And there's that guy. So there's one. I'm going to right, cut that out. What's the other one? You know what? I'm going to go ahead and cut it out. Okay, and then I'm going to use a green hole reinforcement right there. Punch the hole, flip it over, and use the brown. This would be a good place to mat it because it's kind of weird. Um, what's back there it just doesn't make a whole lot of sense so there's one and then the other one is a shipping tag I'm gonna go ahead and remove this it's either a shipping tag or you can trace the tag I know I keep repeating that but I just want you guys to know that you could do that all right and then on this one I think we're gonna use the top part of this well, I'm gonna cover the whole tag, I think, with that. So again, my art glitter glue. Let's see. I want the side where the roses are, so I'm just gonna stick it on that side. Just like that. the hole for just in cases and then I'm gonna use some of this striped stuff this here I think I'm gonna put some on this side and some on the other side so I think I'm just gonna cut a piece off here and I'm gonna tear this end like that. I'm going to tear this end like this. I'm going to go ahead and ink both sides. And then I think I'm just going to cut it in half. So I'm going to put one half on one side and oh, one half on the other. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead put some glue here. These tags are so easy to use, you guys. They're so easy. I mean, depending on where you get them, sometimes you can get them at like an office supply store, like a Staples or an Office Depot or one of those types. Um, you can get these types, this Manila, Vanilla, Manila, whatever you want to call it. And sometimes you can't. So like right now, currently right now, my, my Staples doesn't have these types of tags. So, um, they, they're the ones they have are white, which are fine too. There's nothing wrong with that. You can take, you can actually, the whites are cool because you can color the whites anything you want with your inks, um, and sprays and whatnot. So, yeah. Okay. 
And let me punch a hole again. All right, I'm gonna put green on both sides. So I'm gonna ink both of these up and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I inked them both up, both sides, and then this one I put the string that was in the shipping tag, put that back in, just half of it, and this one I used the pink and white Baker's twine. So these go here, just like that. So because I put that on that side, so on this when you when you've got the page open on this side, you'll you won't see the um, shipping tag. You'll see that pretty pink and pink and white stripe. So I think that's, we're going to call it done for now. And then in the next video, we'll pick right back up and we'll do the other half of the mini album. You guys, let me know what you think down below in the comments. Give me a thumbs up if you liked this video. Um, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And go ahead and hit that bell notification. Um, here is a link to my Etsy shop if you're interested in the templates. And there should be some videos up here in the top corners that you might enjoy watching. So I will see you guys next time. Bye.